one person in there. Yo, Anthony. What's up, Anthony? Got a message to make, segue for the people. For the picture, to the picture, I mean. Auditing America, what's up, man? I got a, I got an announcement to make here in a minute. Um, Oklahoma Community Watch, I have a Seminole, good to see you. I'm looking at the comments right now, I'm not driving. I'm in a parking lot. Lone Wolf Community Watch, what's up? Uh, hey, Ivan. Uh, David Luckett. Hey, David, if you can really take off work Monday, that'd be great. I got an announcement here to make. Is this thing fuzzy or is it just out of focus or dirty lens? Looks like it's out of focus. Uh, yeah, Patrick's free. He's out. Um, get some more people in here and I'll start talking about what's up, what, what, what we got planned. Uh, you're in on the ground floor with this. If you can, uh, yep, not now, maybe later has court Monday. You're correct. I've already spoken with him. He does have court, so he cannot make it. Um, Eastern Pennsylvania community, Lone Wolf community. Watch Lone Wolf Community Watch. Where are you out of? What city are you from? You see, uh, New Mexico. Okay, New Mexico. Hey, we were wanting to go to New Mexico. Um, actually, Patrick was headed to New Mexico today to uh, to video there, and uh, he didn't make it. I was going to be with him. I actually um, almost took off work to go with him today. And I had a pressing job at work, Pike Peaks Auditors. Hey, Aud Pike's Peak Auditors, uh, maybe you're close enough. Um, come down Monday to uh, Beaver, Oklahoma. All right, I'm going to let you know what's up, guys. Um, spoke with Patrick, and we're having a rally in Beaver, Oklahoma. Uh, come on up. Uh, he's got limited place for people to stay up there that we've we've got rented that we can put a few people up in overnight and we're going to meet uh around 10 o'clock tuesday and wednesday david okay oh man okay david yeah i wish you could show up um we are going to meet in beaver oklahoma which is the panhandle closest to the state it's not the colorado side but it's the oklahoma side by the uh, main body of the state um how is my signal? Is it good? Are you seeing me well? I'm parked in Midwest City right now. And uh, if I drive out towards where I live, you're going to have a terrible signal because I live, I live in the country. I can actually go out and pee off my front porch and nobody cares and shoot guns out the back. Um, yeah, if anybody can take off work, there's Patrick in there. Uh, he just said News Now Houston. We got some big names coming up here. I would love to see Eric Brandt show up. Eric Brandt. If anyone can get a hold of Eric, have him come down. We need uh, to show force. We need to show solidarity with what happened because Patrick did nothing wrong. He uh, did what he always does, uh, operated within the law, and gets arrested and is trumped up charges. Oklahoma Community to watch. That'd be great if you could show up. So I'm going down Sunday. I'm uh, leaving Central Oklahoma and headed up toward the Oki Audits cannot go. Uh, yeah, Oki Audits can't go, David. I, I've already called him. I do have a uh, gentleman coming from Oklahoma City with me. Um, why are they asking the people to stop calling? Okay. You can look at it as suppression or censoring, but at the point of right now, we got our point across. Patrick is out. We got them to call the judge and set bail so he could get out. Uh, if we had not been calling, Freeman's coming too, yes. Uh, News Now Houston. I'd love to uh, see Bow. I'd like to meet some of you guys that I haven't met yet because um, I haven't been auditing long enough to have made it down to almost park or I'm going to be open carrying too guys um, if you want to open carry and you have a uh, license uh, come on down uh, open carry uh, the gentleman I'm riding with uh, OKC Vet HPC is his channel 
go over there see his stuff he's very new he doesn't have a lot but he's riding with me up there bow is coming i'm going to get to meet bow i'd like to meet eric brandt this is close enough guys that if you're in southern colorado you could make it new mexico uh you can make it if anyone's out of amarillo you can come on up we've got people coming up from the dallas area i'm bringing someone with me from uh okc uh, i'm going to keep calling and try to get some more people uh, i've got two empty bedrooms in my house that if anybody wants to come up uh sunday uh which i'm not going to be at home tonight i'm uh got a family reunion in uh down southeast part of the state at the deer camp that's where i'm staying but when i get done with that i'm headed up uh to uh meet up with patrick um he's up here watching right now patrick is if anybody wants to talk to him uh, we need as many people we'd love to have 50 to 100 people show up um got kenneth right here Let me answer kenneth. all right reconnecting okay sorry uh I see you're at your KKK rally, uh, Emmanuel Folk. Is that what you're thinking about? Would you uh, like to show up? Um, if so, you know, I'm sure you'll feel at home at that sheriff's office. Bart Simpson, let me see what was said while I got stuck on the phone. That's the individual that's going with me. I will go if Tammy goes. Tammy lives in Michigan. I think if she took off now, maybe she could make it. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Uh, Vet HPA. Okay, see Vet HPA there in the comments. He's going with me. He's got a new channel. Go check out his channel. He's going. Uh, we're going to open carry. Uh, yes. Uh, you need to have a permit if you're going to carry in Oklahoma. Be sure to. Now, if you're from a, a constitutional carry state like Kansas... You can come down here and open carry without a permit in Oklahoma. We respect that right here, but we don't respect it for our own citizens. Uh, I should have some mods. I need to get some, yes. Uh, I need to get that done. I don't like to censor. I Pretty much, if you notice my channel, I don't censor anybody or censor anything. I don't censor my comments. About the only time I censor anything is if it's totally off topic and it's sexual in nature or... Uh, yeah, uh, calling is about his release conditions. He told me that, yeah, they, they would like to see uh, no phone calls being made down there. We got our point across. We got the judge to sign off on his bail. Because I don't think he was going to get bailed out till Monday. Um, uh, I had a conversation with the court clerk and told her what's happening. And I said, if you can get that judge to set a bail today, right now, and he gets out, the phone calls will stop. And I told her that, so it's kind of like a promise. And we worked that deal. Um, so please don't call, don't harass him. Um, I'm actually gonna try to talk to the sheriff on Monday. I'm gonna go in there and try to speak with the sheriff in a cordial manner and uh, see if we can't come to an understanding and see if I can understand where he's coming from because uh, I feel it was a um, egregious mistake on the uh, deputy's part because he wanted to arrest Patrick for fail to ID. If you watch the video, they uh, he said, I'm arresting you for fail to ID. Well, that's not a statute in Oklahoma, so they had to go with obstruction. If you read the new obstruction, it was uh, uh, the statute has been updated in 2016 to include that photography is not obstruction of justice when you're filming police officers so that has been added two years ago so uh, i'm going to bring that to the uh, sheriff's attention and we're going to talk about it i keep wanting to shut the light off so guys uh we are going hey boomer uh what's up uh, we're going to be in uh beaver oklahoma monday monday morning if you guys want to get there earlier we'll have breakfast somewhere um Sometimes these little small town cafes are pretty damn good. I'd like to see Eric Brandt show up if anyone knows his number or can communicate with Eric Brandt. Uh, he would be one hell of a person to have up here. We got some of the bigger names in auditing coming here that are in the area. I know that we probably can't get the people from California or uh, New Hampshire 
to come up here because it's, it's quite a trip but uh, we're going to get some people up there if uh, but you're going with okay see I have room for one more person in my uh, oh I'm watching the road I'm in the country uh, I'm not, it's not like I'm in the city here Eric Brandt okay I have to look at that later uh, his phone number it'd be great for him to show I know Freeman has his number um, Freeman's going to be there I, I was told News Now Houston Bow Clash with Bow um, and who knows who they're bringing I don't know I don't know who they're bringing up there uh, I know I'm bringing somebody if we all bring one or two people and that person brings one or two uh, we'll have a pretty decent showing and they won't know what hit them uh, 10 o'clock be in Beaver Oklahoma the city of Beaver it's Beaver County it's a very small small city uh, this is an outpost town basically guys um, when I call the police department today it's unmanned you have to call another number the sheriff's office to have them dispatched they are such a small Okay, Eric is watching. Eric Brand, I'd love to meet you. If you can make it down to Beaver, Oklahoma, uh, bring some buddies, bring some friends. We would love to have you outside the front of that courthouse um, where the sheriff's office is. Now, guys, I don't think the police uh, the police department was involved in this in any which way, uh, form, or matter, uh, but it's definitely the sheriff's office, and we may talk to the district attorney. They told me the district attorney was not in today, but maybe back Monday. Now I'm taking off work. I am going to uh, make some people mad because I'm not going to be making pizza dough Monday morning. Uh, but we're going to be up there if you guys can make it. Uh, there are some hotels in uh, Buffalo, Oklahoma. I think that's where I'm going to stay at. And uh, that way we can get up early in the morning and head out and be in uh, Beaver by 8 o'clock in the morning is when I'd like to be there, if not earlier, and have breakfast with everybody. Also, if you can bring radios, the little radios that you buy at Walmart, they're called FRS radios, Family Radio Service. Uh, we can all run Channel 1 for First Amendment. Uh, when I do my Second Amendment rallies, we run Channel 2 for Second Amendment. But we can run Channel 1 on FRS. I've got several of them that I'll be bringing. I will also be trying to monitor their frequency. They're on VHF, from what I can tell. Uh, looking on radio reference, uh, they list their frequency, the input and the output, and the tone of their sheriff's repeater. So we can monitor that, and we can monitor the internal communication in the courthouse. It's all listed on radioreference.com under Oklahoma beaver county and you can see their frequency and you can type it in your uh, if you have a baofeng radio a woshan a yezu uh, a scanner type in that 155 megahertz frequency whatever it is and you will be able to uh, monitor the sheriff's department frequency we're also thinking about auditing a few other places maybe the gas um, terminal where patrick was arrested uh, we'll find out where that is. Um, one thing that's great about radios is you can be on your phone, such as I am right now, yet still communicate without disrupting your feed. Uh, you can be out of line of sight with someone, and it works great. And I'm going to maybe, I don't know, throw it out there that if we all the auditors run uh, Channel 1 FRS, maybe, you know, just as a, a starting point, uh, when we do our audits, we can all be on the same page, the same frequency. Now, the radios that I've got, I've got special frequencies programmed into them that, that you can't pick up. Um, but most normal people don't have the computer to program their radios and don't know what frequencies to pick and how to set them up, which, which since I'm a ham radio operator, I do. But we're going to be there, and I'd love to see uh, you guys from Texas come up and uh, support Patrick for all the support he's done down there in Texas. I mean, he's been all over that damn Dallas area and that state, uh, east and west of Dallas. He has hit that place hard. 
and uh, never has he been uh, hit up and arrested so quickly like that for doing nothing, basically. I mean, he basically said he was under duress, going to give his ID up, and they still arrested him. So um, I'm also thinking about maybe we need to tail and follow the Sheriff's Department patrol vehicles that day and video what they do. I'm up for that. I'm going to be open carrying, and we need to open carry for the uh, protection for citizen safety. Uh, to ensure that the citizens of that county are safe, we may uh, follow them around a little bit, make sure they're conducting themselves appropriately when they conduct traffic stops or go to places. And uh, when we go to private property, we will ask permission of the landowner to video the transaction for their safety. Um, this is going to be a, a good event. You guys need to show up. We'd like to have your support in Beaver, Oklahoma, Monday. Uh, 10 a.m. at the latest, we're going to be at the courthouse. It's a very small department. We may be able to match that department man for man with manpower or even more. Uh, small departments like that um, generally have about 10 to 15 deputies uh, on their payroll. And uh, they still have to cover the night shift and the day shift. Uh, the police department probably has one or two officers. Uh, the size of that city. I'm familiar with those size of cities here in town. Um, guys, I'd like to get almost got 200. Well, I got 166 in here. I can't read the comments right now because I am driving out in the middle of nowhere. Focus. There we go. We're going to be open carrying. We're going to have flags and banners. Uh, we're going to eat somewhere there. I'd love to meet some of you guys. You can meet me. Um, we need to make a stance out here in this little bitty podunk county called No Man's Land. And that's what we call the uh, panhandle of Oklahoma, No Man's Land. There are as many people live in that, that, uh, that whole panhandle as live in maybe, I don't know, Pueblo, Colorado? Uh, there's nothing out there. It's a very, very rural, flat, and desolate area. So I would really love for you guys to show up. I'd love to meet with you. Um, we're going to make an impression on them, and I think some of us may go in there and try to speak with the sheriff. Uh, it is a condition. I wouldn't say a condition of the bond, but it was a condition for News Now Patrick to uh, reach out to us guys with channels and say to quit calling. So please quit calling. Um, all you're doing at this point in time is uh, tying up the services and irritating the receptionists. They, um, all the people involved are at home right now. If you want to make an impact, email them, get on their Facebook page, um, send uh, any type of messages you can electronically. Uh, but I think showing up Monday is going to be a great thing. Not now, maybe later has court. He can't show up. Picture Perfect has to work. I don't think he can show up. Uh, Oki Audits, he's got a good channel up there in Tulsa. He can't make it because he has to work also. Um, I'm not going to make it. And uh, OKC Vet HPC, he's retired to Army. And so he's going to show up. We're going to drive up together and maybe anybody else that can come. If you want to ride with me, you can get a hold of me at city at gmail.com and that's all spelled out n-e-w-s-n-o-w-o-k-l-a-h-o-m-a-c-i-t-y at gmail.com and uh, get in touch with that with me that way and maybe we can meet up I'll have room for possibly uh, one extra person in the truck maybe two and uh, we're going to stay the night in uh, one of the towns up there around Fort Supply we're going to stay the night at a motel I've got several rooms available, and then we're going to hit it early on Monday morning, guys. We've got some big names coming up, and we need to show this county the errors in their ways because they've probably never realized that they can't arrest people for failed ID in Oklahoma. You know why? Because everybody does not have a channel like Patrick. And it happened fast. If you guys saw the video, it happened so damn quick. Uh, he didn't even have time to... Uh, know throw his name out there uh, they believe they're in the right they think that they're uh, we're gonna bring statutes 
if you guys can look up in Google and print out the uh, obstructing uh, an officer or obstructing justice, 2016 of Oklahoma statutes, bring that because it covers what Patrick was doing. And there is no fake to ID uh, law in Oklahoma. I called Cleet today and spoke with the training officer that trains police officers and troopers and deputies so that they can get their commission card, their Cleet card. Uh, he, his name is Shannon and he's over the law block. He said there is no failed ID law in Oklahoma. So guys, uh, haven't been watching the comments. Uh, Eric Brand, if you can show up, that'd be great. I'd like to also see Jack Miller, if you can show up out of, uh, I think you're out of San Antonio. I know that's a long drive, brother, but if you show up, uh, I know I, I won't be home till maybe uh, Sunday morning. Uh, it's possible I could be back Saturday night, but um, I would put somebody up in my house if you made a long trip, and then we could ride up to to uh, the Fort Supply area, and we got a motel to stay the night Sunday night, and then we're going to hit it Monday morning. Uh, this is News Now OKC. We've got about 180 people in here. No, 162. Uh, doesn't look like there's many more people joining in, chiming in. It is almost 10 o'clock at night. I'm going home uh, from a long shift at the pizza job tonight and today. And uh, guys, if you can uh, show up, get your friends to show up, even if they're not an auditor, if they just want to support Patrick and stand back and watch what's going on, it's a lot of fun, guys. Be part of it. Uh, and we'll also educate this county, too. And then there's Guyman in Boise City to the west. There are two more counties in the Panhandle that are probably watching what's going on right now because that area has never been hit by an auditor. I can damn near guarantee you that. There's nothing out there, guys. Uh, it's uh, basically just farmland. Uh, and they do some mineral mining. Uh, there, there's nothing out there, guys. It's no man's land. So they're not used to this stuff, and they're used to being the good old boys, and, you know, what they say is law. Well, we're going to come educate on Monday morning. And I'm going to talk to the sheriff and see if we can't talk some sense into him, and maybe I'm going to show him some videos of how many hundreds of situations like this where Patrick has been in see that he's right and there's nothing they can do um, what do they can do anything and nobody has the resources or the uh, support to fight them it's a very poor area um, there's there's not much going on out there so uh, you guys show up it's going to be fun and one great thing about these you go to you can't have access to the sheriff you can't even get in the building or the courthouse I can almost damn near guarantee you they don't have a metal detector. They do or not, but the smaller counties don't have metal detectors, nor do they have uh, deputies standing at the guard at the door waiting. It's very accessible. You can walk in, and you can walk into the sheriff's office and damn near walk into the under sheriff's office and speak with them, such as I did in Garfield County uh, when Patrick got illegally detained. I had an interview with the sheriff. If he saw that, so. Guys, I'm uh, almost to the house. I'm going to get uh, grab something, and I've got a long drive ahead of me. I may go live here in a little bit later too, but I am uh, I got a three-hour drive ahead of me, and I wouldn't even be going home right now if I didn't forget some stuff. Uh, bad cell service. I'm out here in the country, guys.